Yeah, I think it looks quite cool. Kind of works a bit easier with the snow noise, but should be deeper. Uh, yeah, quite cool. Bye bye. Um, okay, so the last step. Uh, this is a quite cool trick that I uh, kind of found out myself. Uh, it's I can't say I, I found out about it, but because it's a brush made some by a guy on C brush, oh, C Central. Uh, God, I'm awful with names. I should have looked at uh, looked at him, him up before. Uh, so the the brush is actually a mask brush. Uh, it's called M A H Mask Bias. So what it does is that it recognizes uh, flat surfaces and where they uh, end. Uh, and he made it for uh, for hard surface things like he he did mechs or something uh, mechanical parts. Uh, so uh, and I I would imagine it would be really useful for something like that. But for for um, concrete flat surfaces, uh, it's I mean it's pretty much the same thing. So oops, uh, I clicked on it uh, and it. Uh, gives me it re it replaces the the mask tool so just push control uh, so yeah I, I'll I'll link to the guy his uh, forum thread on on C Central and you'll get the brush there it's really good I haven't really figured out the settings for it I'll show you how it works first. So I just go over this edge, and as you can see, I'm super close to the edge, uh, but it just stops right there. If it would be the, the the regular brush, it would have gone down all the way down to the edge. Uh, this gives me uh, the ability to to uh, colorize this later on, uh, and that will be uh, my mask in in C uh, Photoshop. I think that's really, really nice. Uh, if you do anything like the trick I showed you before, doing cracks in, in uh, concrete, if you would have used the same uh, thing with these, with this uh, mask brush, and then uh, colorized it to to bake out the color later, it really helps to texture it later or get the alpha. So this is mainly for the alpha, but it's uh, for uh, I mean for the for the final alpha, but it's also for some uh, texture in alphas. So the brush like reacts to uh, size. I think it's size because when you zoom in, the the brush size uh, sticks. So obviously it gets smaller. Uh, I think it has something to do with the focal shift. Uh, so that it's like tighter. I haven't really fully understood that, and I haven't really tried to check it out neither. But it work, it, it gets the works done. So as long as it works, I'm happy. I mean, uh, I saw that I, when I've done this before, uh, you get some small errors because the the brush miss some areas. Doesn't really matter because when you colorize it and you get some color on there and then bake it in in X normal, um, you can. I mean, you can just paint it out in in uh, in Photoshop. So. Because it's quite big, the shapes are quite big. Oh, I'm gonna put up the intensity of this. Did it do anything? Yeah.
So yeah, to, just to show you the difference between the between the MAH mask bias and this, the regular uh, mask pen. If I go over the edge, obviously everything is just gonna get masked. So that's the difference. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go into polypaint, colorize, and show she she's <laughs> a she's color shoes. Um, I think a very clear red is good. Oh, so I need to push colorize once more. Do I? I don't really get how this works. Why isn't it? Oh, shit! Of course. Okay, so red. Okay, so you you. I'm I'm stupid. Sorry. Push colorize. Uh, so it's orange. Uh, choose your red color or your favorite favorite color of them all. Your color of choice. Uh, untick. C sub or C add. Uh, just have RGB and RGB intensity 100 and just take up the brush size and make it red. So as you can see uh, I missed a few places. I actually gonna ignore that because it's quite easy to, to paint it out in uh, Photoshop. And I mean it, it, the, it's quite pixelated uh, I don't know if that's how colorize works or how uh, if that's masking. I don't know. Um, I need to work it in with it in, in in Photoshop some to get it to to look just the way I, I want it to be. But as long as uh, all of it is the same, I can just use some uh, some filters and settings in in Photoshop to 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 bring it to the same level all over. Okay, so it's just exporting left to do. Uh, push colorize again. Choose the white color to get your your uh, shading back. Um, and yeah, I guess save as is something that's quite good to do sometimes. Um, and export. So I don't know if I ticked a setting somewhere to get the. I just let me save this somewhere. I'm gonna save it as concrete deco H poly tutorial. Um because it's it's actually exporting uh the poly painting too right now. And so it will be imported when you take the OBJ into X normal. I don't think I've ticked any settings. If I have and you know about the setting, please tell me uh, in the comments or in on on the forum or something. Uh okay, so um next up is uh low poly and baking. See you.